Hello there, and welcome to another one of my LEGO set reviews. This is the Avengers Speeder Bike Attack, set number 76142. It has around 200 pieces and sells for about $20, and I think you might be able to get it cheaper right now. Okay, so let's get into the figures first. So this is Black Panther, and he can wield Thor's hammer, I hear. Um, so that's why he's holding it. Um, I'm not overly a big fan of this print job, but it does the trick. There's, you know, his suit is pretty plain, so there's not necessarily a whole lot going on. But for what it is, it's pretty nice. He does come with the interesting head attachment piece that gives him, like, ears. And here we have Thor. And... Pretty nice looking suit. I like the detail that looks like it's on the chainmail. I like the fact that they have the um, cape kind of actually on him. So it's printed onto his torso and on the back too. I think that's pretty cool. It makes it look a little bit more like it fits together. He also comes with two of these uh, flick energy blasts. Um, and a standard hair piece. He does have an alternate face. We can call that supercharged Thor, a little angry, but that's him. And the other figure is actually a vehicle, so we'll get to that a little bit. But let's just get to these. You have two different types of warhead pieces that go on the uh, um, stud shooters. You got basically a yellow one and an orange one. Um, they do have four of each, so that's kind of nice. You have the the pieces that are holding it there have holes in the stud, which are nice pieces to get. Um, you also have these two chemical containers or something, or radiation, or spent fuel, I don't know. But it says they're dangerous on there, so I'll take the word for that. But the concept is, is that this guy, which we'll take a look at, can lift them up and steal them away. So this guy uses a lot of that new interesting, um, I call it Technic or Bar Technic pieces. You can see all over the place. Um, this is an interesting build. It's pretty big for a minifigure like backpack, but it works. As you can see, I did manage to get him standing up. One hand, he's got some sort of blaster or something. And then in this hand, he has some sort of energy control hook thing um not sure but the concept is is that you can put these radiation whatever they are and steal them away like that um but the concept is is this is kind of like a hover jetpack type thing going on here which is kind of crazy because we're starting to have those things in real life but he also has two giant saws on here if he didn't have enough weapons stud shooters on each side if he didn't have enough weapons um pretty cool torso print um, and everything on this guy, you can kind of see it's pretty detailed there. Also, the back's printed, but it's kind of covered with this gigantic suit, which is actually pretty nicely built for being a giant suit on a guy. But uh, you can see he's an aim agent. Um, I mean, you have some posability. I mean, you can do all sorts of crazy things with these since they're on ball joints. But overall, an interesting concept for like a villain character kind of like reminds me of the vulture but kind of more you know with more weapons i guess um the other thing that comes with this set is this avengers motorcycle which is a very interesting build um has some new pieces for these tire joints and they're it's pretty nice and smooth um the look of it is different that's about all i can say can you take a guess at where the front is? Because <laughs> at first when I was building it, I was like, I don't know which way it is. Um, same on each side. Lots of detailed up pieces. You can kind of see the Technic, which is unfortunate. Um, but overall, a pretty cool looking motorcycle. And we'll use Black Panther because this is very kind of a weird way that they go in there. But you can see they kind of go in like that. And you can't really get their hands on the controls. And the concept is, is they're kind of leaning up, which actually works. Because if you look at it straight on like this angle, you can see that they can see over the motorcycle. So it kind of gives them a low profile. So they're kind of armored. And then you have stud launchers, which they kind of have set up more as like artillery where it shoots over. 
than directly shooting because it would hit the side of the bike and destroy it and probably be a bad day for the rider. Um, and it looks like he's got some jet engines in the back. But overall, kind of a cool motorcycle. Um, so this sets $20. Do I think it's worth it? Um, I think it actually is, is worth it. You get three figures, which is pretty good. Um, and they're pretty good figures. They're not like plain. The, the Black Panther is probably the worst figure. You get a good amount of parts. You also get the two parts packs, which give you all those parts. There are a lot of, a lot of small parts, but there's also some larger ones and Technic. And there's not too many stickers, but I think there's a good amount of stickers. Um... Yeah, I think this is worth $20, and if it's cheaper, it's it's even better. I'm not a big Marvel fan, so that devalues it myself. Um, I do like the Marvel Universe, just the sets are kind of not my thing. You can probably know because they're not as colorful, but, um, but yeah, so this is a pretty cool set. I do like it. The figures don't do a whole lot for me. But I think getting getting three figures in a set like this is pretty good. I think he's got a pretty cool torso and stuff. But that's all I got to say about this set. I want to thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, drop a subscribe. And I want to thank you again. And that's all I've got.